everybody, and welcome to Storm Log number nine of the Scudbuster Diaries Flagler County Storm Chasers. My name is Ed Sharkovich. Today we're going to be taking a look at hard freeze number two of 2018. It is winter in Florida for sure. This was the scene on January the 17th. Hard freeze warnings in effect for Wednesday night, Thursday morning from the National Weather Service in Jacksonville. You can see Palm Coast all the way down here in the bottom right hand corner of this map. All the areas shaded in blue are under a hard freeze warning. 420 that morning. Take a look. Hard freeze warning. Wind chill advisory. Hard freeze watch for the following day. It is cold. 613 a.m. 25 degrees at the F section weather underground weather station and venturing outside for the first time as daylight landed in Palm Coast frozen over swales ice everywhere driving around into the C section this was at the corner of Carroll and Clubhouse Drive the ice was completely floating on top of the canal Let's take a look at the video footage. This is actually the fifth time that this canal has been frozen over like that this year. A lot of it comes from the fact that we have had so much rain that there's a high fresh water content in what normally is a saltwater canal. From the C-section canals, I headed over into Palm Coast by City Walk. Several years ago when we had a cold snap like this, this fountain froze over and sure enough, frozen over entirely. My little uh, photography mascot here is resting completely on the ice. The water was about three or four inches deep and the ice was a good quarter inch thick on this. So temperatures had really dropped down that night for sure. Monique Futch, co-founder of the Scudbuster Diaries, uh, showing up at work in Flagler Beach that morning. You can see where for most of the night, this apparently had dripped down onto this hose. Have a little icicle hanging down here. This is very unusual for Florida and especially for over at the beach where you expect it to be warmer because it's so close to the ocean. Judy Mazella, head of Flagler Volunteer Services, was up in St. Augustine that morning and from sprinklers. Leaves were completely coated in ice, icicles everywhere. Flagler County wasn't the only one to take this cold weather hard freeze. Fast forward one day to January the 19th. This is going to be day two of our cold snap. Super frost is what it looked like walking out the front door that morning. Everything covered in white, so much so that it looked like it had actually snowed. Taking a look at temperature readings for that morning, we had 26 up in Jacksonville. Palm Coast registered 30. For some reason, this F section weather station has the coldest readings in the county. They measured 28 degrees that morning. Heading down Old Kings Road South, south of State Route 100, I was entranced by what was happening over in this field here, but as I walked up to the fence post, I saw all of these little ice crystals hanging out along this entire length of fence. This is over by Bulow Plantation. Taking a closer look at this, these crystals were actually three quarters of an inch in length. There's a Native American term for that called Paganip, which stands for frozen fog. So as fog gets near freezing level, it condenses on things, forming these ice crystals. The crystals themselves, or these little tufts of frozen material, are called rime. Pretty neat. First time I've seen that. Kind of amazing. Taking a look over the fence out into the field. Again, everything was completely enveloped in white. It was actually very pretty, but we need to watch out for this once we start to head into dry season and all of this stuff that's now dead becomes a fire hazard. Taking a look at the next morning, it was 39 degrees. Uh, in the F section, so not quite as bad as it was for the last couple of days before that, but venturing out again, frost had covered everything. Welcome to Florida. It's winter. So kind of a short episode today. I want to stop right there with this last cold front that came through. We've actually had a couple of interesting things that occurred in the county, but I want to save that for its own separate episode. At the Scudbuster Diaries, we love going out into all kinds of weather, and weather in Flagler County is actually very important. 
We receive our Doppler radar information from two stations. One is up in Jacksonville to the north, and the other one is down in Melbourne to the south. Because those two towers are so far apart, the curvature of the Earth actually starts to cause problems with the way that the radar beams intersect over Flagler County. So Flagler County is invisible on Doppler radar from the ground up to a ceiling of 10,000 feet. And that is plenty of room for severe weather to come into the area, literally under the radar and undetected. Our group of volunteer storm chasers go out into severe weather, watching and observing, sending information directly to the National Weather Service in Jacksonville and Flagler County Emergency Management as it's occurring so that they can send code red alerts and messages and warnings out to you. Flagler County Emergency Management has teamed up with the National Weather Service to educate you about weather in Flagler County. The National Weather Service conducts Skywarn weather spotting classes. The next one is going to take place Wednesday, January the 31st, 2018 from 6 to 8 p.m. That's going to be held at the Flagler County Emergency Services Building, 1769 East Moody Boulevard, Building Number 3, Bunnell, Florida. Take the course. It's free to the public. It only takes two hours, and you're going to walk out of there knowing a whole lot more about severe weather, and being able to read the skies in Flagler County is very important. We cannot be everywhere at once, so we are asking for your help. If you witness severe weather, let us know. If you see wind damage, flooding, dense fog, lightning strikes, tornadoes, water spouts, beach erosion, or hail, send a message. Give us a call. One of our dedicated photographers will come out, record the event, take pictures, give you copies for your records, and then take that information and turn it into another Scud Buster Diaries episode and give that to Flagler County Emergency Management and the National Weather Service in Jacksonville so that they can keep all the data tabulated for Flagler County. We're still at the beginning of the year, but severe weather season will be starting in only just a couple of months. Hurricane season not too far behind it. I recommend that you take a look at flaglercounty.org forward slash emergency. That is the website for Flagler County Emergency Services. They've got all kinds of great resources listed out there. Preparation guides, links to the National Weather Service to help you keep yourself and your family safe. On Facebook, the place to check out is Flagler Weather Info. It's run by Flagler County Emergency Services. Take a look. The very best in non-hype, locally impacted forecasting takes place there. Also on Flagler Weather Info, you will find Bob Pickering, who does his regular Flagler weather updates. The information is very valuable. You can follow us, the Scudbuster Diaries, at edsharkphotoimages.com forward slash Scudbuster Diaries. We have lots of great things there, including photo galleries from all of our past storm chases. As severe weather is happening, go to our Facebook page. We do Facebook Live broadcast as everything is unraveling and unfolding. You can watch our episodes on Flagler County's YouTube channel, also on the Scudbuster Diaries YouTube channel. And then Friday nights at 8 p.m. on channel 492 Spectrum Television, Flagler County TV carries our shows as well. If you are ready to start giving back to your community, take a look at Flagler County Assist React. It's a group of dedicated individuals that are trained in many aspects of emergency management services and support. We help not only do weather things, but we also help law enforcement manage crisis situations. You can take a look at their Facebook page, Flagler County Assist React, awesome group of people to belong with. My name is Ed Sharkovich. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.